so hey everybody welcome back to my channel this is Nikki Newt coming at you with a very personal vlog this vlog will be pertaining to my boots so if you're interested stick around um, specifically cosmetic surgery so if you are not a fan of cosmetic surgery you can go ahead and just exit if you are curious or interested to just to learn more about the process and the subject matter and all that and me doing it and why, stick around. So first off, I've been wanting to get my boobs done for a very long time now since I was a little girl. It was something that I've always thought that would come in time, you know, after having children and stuff like that and they never came in so I decided to treat myself and finally just do it. I had the money to do it so I'm going to do it and I'm very excited. I've been thinking about it since I had my consultation with the doctor and just watching non-stop YouTube videos on it and I've just been getting more and more excited. So I've always had like like a rarely like good size boob. I'm like a C cup, not full C cup, just a C cup. Um, I ranged around from like a B to a C for the longest. Uh, people always said that I look like I have cleavage, but I pretty much just lived in a push-up bra my entire life, day in and day out. I even sleep with my push-up bra on. So that's how serious it is for me. I lived just religiously in my bras and that's what the look I love. So versus just wearing these push-up bras 24-7, you know, it sucked because when you take off the bra, you're back to looking like how you look. And when you take pictures and stuff, you want to be able to push the envelope as much as you can. And sometimes with my little saggy boobs, I don't always have that that look that I want to achieve through a photo or just in a bikini or whatever, you know. So I'm deciding to do it. I am well aware of, you know, the illnesses and um, cancer related issues that can possibly happen with getting breast augmentation so I am well aware of all the surroundings I'm aware of my doctor and his history the doctor I am going with is um, Dr. Tanja Tanji um, he said you could just call him Mr. T so this is the doctor right here very good guy very awesome very sweet very understanding um, this is his company, My Look Cosmetic Surgery. So if you guys are in Southern California area and is looking to get a breast augmentation. So if you're in Southern California and looking to get a breast augmentation, I would definitely recommend him. He is a very well-known um, surgeon in Southern California and is uh, very popular and has a lot of great reviews and um, very knowledgeable. He's been in the surgery business for quite a good amount of time. So I had my consultation about a week ago and my surgery date is on August 13th. Um, I still have to get my lab work done starting on the 13th of this month. Um, I officially stopped taking like aspirin and stuff like that because that is something that you have to do like about four months prior um, to your surgery to help stop the blood thinning and stuff like that. So they request that you stop taking any kind of medication or aspirin, um, workout pills, pre-workouts, uh, fat burners, stuff like that. So of course now that I'm in the surgery range um, time I have start at my period <laughs> so it kind of sucks I'm in this horrible position but I am taking a little bit of CBD and that's been helping me out a lot I hope that is okay to do um, it's still kind of early it's about barely hitting about four weeks so I think I'm okay um, but other than that yeah um, the surgery I decided to get uh, 550 cc saline under the muscle implants 
and they are costing me about four thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars um, you do a down deposit for your surgery day and then you can pay the rest up until seven days prior to your surgery um, that also includes um, uh, your after recovery and your two um, post um, your post uh, meets or whatever for your doctor so um, it does not include medication and your hospital bras and stuff like that so I will have to do that separate but other than that everything is ready to go I'm getting 550 cc's so I got this sweater on pretty much to show you guys um, what I look like in like a sports bra because if you've seen me in like my photo shoes and stuff like that or just in a regular t-shirt I'm always wearing a push-up bra so right now let's see if I can show you better and if you hear little stompings around and music in the background it's my kid dancing so this is my boobs and like a basic sports bra no life really much to them but I do have boobs so they decided well we both kind of decided to kind of just go around the 550 um, it would be best for me to give me the full fullness that I want on top um, he did recommend um, the, the, the reconstruction of the nipples he recommended, but he also said it wasn't necessary to do with my boobs. And with the size that we're going, it would pretty much lift. Oops. Okay. So pretty much with the size implants I'm getting, he pretty much kind of suggested it, but he didn't really necessarily recommend that I get a nipple reconstruction just from the, the base size that I'm getting. So that is pretty much it. I didn't decide to do it because I don't think I would like the scarring as well. Um, that goes with it. So I'm just going to do in the crease um, implants. So right now I'm just waiting to do my lab work. And after that I will, um, I guess, will be in the clear for surgery. So that's all that I have right now. I am excited. I'm nervous. I, I'm just hoping for the best because it's been a long crazy journey so far and I just need something awesome, you know, in my life. And I think these chi -chis will be a great beginning for that. Um, a lot of people don't agree with surgery. I mean, I love my boobs as they are. They're great. They're athletic. They're sporty, you know, but when it comes to feeling sexy and beautiful and stuff like that or you know I feel beautiful but it's it's what I want to feel like I need to look like so whatever to make me feel happy in my own skin um, I'm gonna do it <laughs> you know same thing with tattoos and piercings it's like why do it because it makes me feel like me you know so that's why I'm doing this procedure. Um, if you don't understand, then you just don't know me. You don't know what it's like living with my little tea bag flip flops. Um, just really tired of looking like that. I've looked like that since before I've had a kid, and I just want nice, luscious, great jugs, <laughs> great New Yorker boobs, so they say. So. We will see. I am super duper excited. I got my procedure um, as soon as possible just because I am going to be getting married at the beginning of next year. So I want my boobs to be able to drop and do their thing and ripen right just in time for hopefully you know my wedding. So I can't wait. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested, subscribe to my channel to see more. And if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment here. Feel free to follow me on my social media channels, um, which is thank you guys again for joining me. If you're new, thank you guys for coming. Welcome to my channel. And there's more great stuff to come soon.